Hello, welcome to How to Play Florentine for One Player. So in this solitaire, we just need one deck of cards. We're going to shuffle, and then we're going to turn up, face up, five cards to form a cross, and then we're going to turn a six card up to form our foundations. Now, the four foundations will be in different suits, but they all need to start with the number that the first foundation card started with, so it'll all be six, and that means that five will be the last card of each foundation. Now, the center card cannot be built upon. It can be moved. Uh, you're not required to fill a gap at all uh, if there is one. Uh, but you can choose to do so, and you must do so strategically. So we're going to go through our card deck. We're allowed to go through it uh, two times, and then the game is locked up. So there we just placed a six spades and a seven spade on top. And now we're just looking for any card that we can play. Now, on your stacks, uh, on the cross, those can decrease in value, and they, the suit does not matter. So what we just saw there, we saw a two diamond and then an ace heart get put on top. That is legal. Once they're at the ace, that's the lowest they can go. Now we've turned our cards over to uh, restart our draw pile. At this point, we have to be extremely careful because if we do not uh, get to the five card in each suit, um, those cards will then have to be played in that order uh, from the waste pile that's next to the draw deck. And uh, if we cannot do that, the game will be locked up and we will have lost this game. This overall um, was a pretty fun solitaire, pretty simple to learn. Um, had to get some clarification on a couple things, but other than that, uh, there is obviously no restriction on your foundations. Uh, unlike uh, Osmosis, which if you're familiar with that, you have some restrictions on your foundations, which makes the game a little bit harder than this one. This is a fairly simple solitaire that you figure out the strategy for fairly quickly. Um, as far as not locking the game up. So one of the things is to keep your cross somewhat empty like we did here. And then stack uh, higher cards on top of lower cards. Or, excuse me, lower cards on top of higher cards in the cross. Because then they're going to go in reverse order when, you're time to play them on, when it's time to play them on your foundations. So a pretty simple concept. Um, once you've uh, figured out and won it one time, correctly you pretty much uh, remember it for the rest of the time it's pretty intuitive but it's a great time waster if you're ever uh, in somewhere where you're having to wait a while pull out your deck of cards play this game it's pretty good and there we have uh, all five foundation all four foundations with the number five so we have completed the uh, six foundation challenge now every time you play this game is going to be different because it's going to be a different card there if you start with king it goes up to ace and uh, the last card will be a queen and etc and so forth and so if you actually want to play this game uh, in public you can you don't need anybody but if you want to play something besides solitaire come to the card game meetups uh, subreddit post your city post what games you know if you like these videos please subscribe so you can get informed when the newest videos come out and let your friends know about these card game videos we have a whole lot more uh, besides card games we have dice games domino games a whole lot of videos to produce so keep your eyes peeled we will have more in the future